Alright, so now to finish off the brake calipers, we're going to make the last thing that is left, that is the brake, the brake discs, I mean the brake pads. Uh, let's hide the rim real quick, and I'm going to go over to this side. And uh, as I was saying, I wanted to add some area over here that sort of uh, held the uh, brake pads. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here, and I'm going to add in that area to about this point. And click, and I'm going to add one in here, press E and then F. And I'm going to move that to about here, and then click. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, if I press Ctrl and R2 here, this goes all the way through to the other side, doesn't cause any problems, alright? So we can keep that in there, and um, let me see, let me get over here, let me just press Ctrl and I, hold on, Ctrl and I, and then let me hide everything else. So I'm going to go on in here, and let me take this as 1, 2, and 1, 2, and um, I'm going to press G twice, and then move this up to about this point. And I'm going to take these faces here, all the way to here, and hold on, that didn't, that didn't work out well, let me see, G twice, okay, there we go. So I wanted both of them to move, but it looks like they're moving in opposite directions. So now let's take these three faces, press X and delete the faces. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this edge over here, and I'm going to press F to fill it in all the way to that side. I'm going to take this edge, these three edges, on both sides, including the ones in the middle like that, and the ones here. I want to increase the bevel to a full one, that is the main bevel, to a full one. And I want to select all of these ones as well, because we need that to, to, you know, shape this side better. So we're going to increase the one to, to a full one, like that, and you can see what we have going on. So that is the area where the brake pad is going to be sitting, and that is what we're going to use to create the brake pad. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in here, and let me press Alt and H to bring the other stuff back. Let's hide this, and let's hide the break disc, and I'm going to move on to this side. What I'm going to do is, taking a look at this, um, I'm going to take this one from here, all the way to this side. Okay, so I'm going to take all that edge, let me make it a vertex selection. I'm going to take all of those vertices there, and let me see. I'm going to take this one as well, all the way to this side, to the middle here, all the way to that side. Now let me see. When these things are shaded blue, you can't really see your selection, but hopefully we can make it through. And now let me select this last one here. So I want to press Shift and D to duplicate this, like this, and I want to press P to separate the selection. Now let's select that, and I want to go into edit mode. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me see. Let me get in here. Let me reduce the bevel to zero. And let me just let me just select this to here. So from here all the way to here, I'm going to press Shift and D, move it in the Y axis, like that. And I'm going to take this to and press F. I'm going to take everything. I'm going to press F. I'm going to press I to insert the faces a little bit like that, to about there. I don't know, to about here. And let's press, let me see. Let me just take... All of the ones on the outside now, and I want to delete the vertices. All right, so we don't need those ones. I just needed this to move. I mean, to pull in a little bit. Let me pull this here and pull that here. Now I want to select this. Press X and delete only faces. I'm going to take these two, move it in the Z axis until it, meet, it meets in the middle. I'm going to press X and delete the edges like that. So that is what we have in the middle right now, as you can see. Very nice. Um, let me see. I think I want to pull this one in a little bit more. So I'm going to take this one. I want to pull it in the Y axis. Close to the inner area over here. Let me pull it in the Z axis to move it in this direction a little bit. I want to take this one move it all the way here. And I want to take this from here to here. Press W, choose loop tools. And choose space to make the spaces between them equal. I'm going to do the same with this W, loop tools, space. Like that. So there we go. As you can see, that is looking good. Um... What I'm going to do with this area is, let me just press Ctrl and R3 here, I'm going to move this all the way here, I'm going to take this, press G twice and slide it down, I don't want that area being sharp, as it was looking, and you can see that is looking good, and um, let me put up the subdivision, so I can see this much better, so subdivision off, and this is the shape, the, the basic shape of it, as you can see, so let me just take, let me take these two, let me pull it in the Y axis, a little bit, but let's take another look.
All right, so I'm going to take this from here to here, including this one. I'm going to move it in a y axis like this, quite close like that. All right, good. So I think that is our brake, our brake pad, looking good and all. And I'm going to take everything, press S and then X and type in zero. And I want to move this out to about this point, up to where it starts intersecting with the the brake caliper piece over there. So yeah, I'm just going to pull it in just on top of that surface over there. And I want to take everything, let's press E and then X, let's extrude this in. Let me see how much in. So I want to extrude it in until it sits right next to this one over here. Like this. So like that. Let me just take this one, let's go into edit mode. So I want to take all of these. And I'm going to take this vertex over I'm going to press S and then X and type in 0. Like that. So let's get out and select this one again. Let's go into edit mode of that. So that was the amount I wanted to select. As you can see, it's looking good. Um, now, we have, now that we have the basic shape, we can hide these ones now. Let's try working on this alone. So I'm going to take these two. And I'm going to press F. I'm going to take these two, press F. Let's do, okay, it's a mirror, so we don't need to do the same thing down there. So I'm going to take these four now and press F. Take these two and press F, F, and pull that up there. Do the same thing over here. Take these four, press F. Take these two, F, F, pull that up there. And I'm going to get to the side. Press Ctrl and R through here. Let's add one at the back as well. And let's take both of those. Let's get onto the side and press G twice. And let's pull that all the way here. And I want to press Ctrl B to bevel them. Like that. And what I want to do next is I'm going to take these four and press F. And I want to take these four next and press F. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. Right click to keep it in place on both sides of these ones as well. And I want to take these two and press F twice. I want to take this two, press F twice. And the same at the back, take this two, press F twice. Take that two and press F twice. Now let's select everything and press it to N to recalculate the normals very nicely like that. And uh, let's get in here now. Now to add in the bevels, I'm going to select the edges that need beveling like that. Just select all the edges that need beveling. As you can see, that's what I'm doing right now. Including this side, all these. And I think that's all of them. No way. This side as well. So there we go. So that is all of them. Now let's let me see now. This one as well. And let's take this and that one. Just so the bevel looks much better. So I'm gonna press N and let's add in the bevel to that. Press N again, and as you can see, that is looking good. I'm going to remove this one out of it, because I want to do that by myself. So I'm going to remove that one out. Uh, let me let me drop that to zero. What is happening? Okay, yeah, so drop it to zero. Once we enable the subdivision surface, it should look just the way we want it to, like that. So I'm going to press, click on object and select shade smooth, like that. And finally, what I want to do is, I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here, add in 2, I'm going to press S and then X, and scale this out like that. And I'm going to take all of the faces here as well, from here all the way to there, all of these faces. And same with this side, select all of these. And let me enable this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to insert the faces just a little bit like that. I want to drop the bevel on that to 0. Just like that. Alright, so that is looking good. Now all that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge over here. I'm going to take this edge all the way to this side. Let's increase that to a full one. I'm going to do the same thing at the back. So this edge right here. These edges, increase that to a full one. Very nice. So you can see that is looking great. Just the way we want it to. Alright, so press Alt and H to bring everything back. And there we go. So you can see how it's looking in there. Very nice. Very, very nice. I just kind of think we can move this thing to fit. Let me hide this. We can move it to fit in this area a little bit more. So let me get onto the side view. Let me go into edit mode of this. Let me select all these vertices here. From here to here. I'm going to move it in the Y axis. And I'm going to move it in the Z axis. Oh no, let's just move it in the Y axis for now. 
And I'm going to do the same thing here. Move it in the Y axis. Pretty close. Like that. Now let's select all of these. And I'm going to press G. I'm going to move this all the way to here. Let me get in here. I'm going to take all these. Move it as well. Up. Like that. Now it's getting it pretty close just the way we want it to. So I'm going to go into edit mode here as well. I'm going to take all these. Press G. Move that up quite close to it. Like that. And nice. You can see that it's pretty nice and tight now. Just the way we want it to. Very nice. Good, 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 good. Alright. That is looking great. That is looking really good. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, what else do we have to do? What else do we have to do? I think that might actually be it. Hold on. The insertion actually added in some spaces. Hold up. Come on. Alright, so over here you can see it added in some of them down here. So I'm just, I'm just going to press K and... And I'm just gonna cut this. Hold on. I'm just gonna cut this from here to here. Press E. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And press space to confirm it. Now I'm gonna take all of these over here. I'm just gonna press G twice and slide it all the way down. And let's select every, everything. Press Alt and M and merge by distance. So it got rid of four vertices like that. I'm gonna do the same thing in here. Press the knife tool. Just click there. Press E to make a new start. And click there, press space to confirm it. And I'm going to take all of these, press G twice, slide it all the way down, select everything, Alt and M, merge by distance. Alright, there we go. So that should fix it. Now let's, let's get back to global view. And press Alt and H. Let's see how that looks. So yeah, that is looking really good. As you can see, it's looking really, really good. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that will pretty much do it for this video. Hopefully you guys are also able to get this right. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for this video. Let me just hide this tire. Let me take a look around this area and see what we have. Okay, so I think everything is looking good. All right, nice, 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 nice. All right, so alternate to bring everything back. And there we go. That's our brake calipers. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video where we will actually be working on the lights. So I'm pretty sure we finished everything down here. The rest is going to be to make the, uh, what do you call it, the suspension and all that. As I said, we'll be rigging this vehicle. So we'll need to make some uh, pretty riggable suspensions on this so that um, we can actually rig it easily. And also, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.